Oh, it's Tuesday and you got, hang on a second. Ugh, forgot something. And you guys know what that means. Ooh, let's roll that intro. What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. So great to have you here and see all your smiling faces. If you are amongst the Canadians that watch this channel, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a great weekend with your family and friends. Now to the topic of today's video, whoop, is the Canon 50mm 1.8, which is also referred to as the Nifty 50. Now, I didn't come up with that name, someone else did, but for a very good reason. And before I get into that, let's throw two minutes on the clock. Let's begin. So a question that I see all the time in the comments, on Instagram, in my email, on Twitter, is what lens should I buy? I just got a camera, I have a very small budget, I'm not sure what to get, can you help me make a decision? This right here is what I would recommend you buy next. If you're looking for a lens to buy, if you already have a bunch of lenses, I would still recommend you buy this lens, and here are the reasons why. This is a 50 millimeter lens with a 1.8 aperture. That means this opens up real wide and lets tons of light in. Now, this is a fast aperture and the reason they call it a fast aperture is because being that all that light is being let in because this is a 1.8 whoop big opening you can make that shutter speed faster which lets you shoot better shots in low light conditions so if you are shooting indoors or at night or in the evening or concerts or venues or stuff like that this is a great little lens to just toss in your bag and that brings me to my second point is just tossing it in your bag it's made out of plastic this isn't a metal lens however it used to be 100% plastic back when I used to work at the camera shop but but since then, they've actually updated it to make a metal mount on the back, which is even better. You don't have to be afraid to just use and abuse this like you would a little more if you spent like three grand on a lens. You're gonna baby that a little bit more, but I have a friend that told me his buddy dropped this off a bridge. And when I used to shoot weddings, we would just toss this around, throw it to each other, pop it on, and you would get killer results with this. Now, if you guys are a big fan of having those nice, smooth, tasty, delicious, blurry backgrounds when you see portraits being taken, that can be done with the lens like this. This has seven different aperture blades, which means those out of focus lights and elements in the background are gonna be nice and round. They're not gonna be like pentagons or triangles or anything weird like that, unless you're using a filter. Side note, the more aperture blades that a lens has, the more circular the out of focus elements are. Now that's a draw to pro photographers and why some of the high end lenses are so expensive. One thing to keep in mind if you're gonna buy this lens, if you're using a cropped sensor, an APS-C size sensor, not a full frame sensor, this is not gonna be 50 millimeters. This is gonna end up being about an 80 millimeter lens. If you're using this on a full frame camera, it's going to be 50 millimeters. Let me show you the difference. For example, if you were shooting this on a T7i, a picture of a mug or a lens would look like this. Now that same picture shot on a full frame camera, let's say that's a 5D or whatever you have, you throw this lens on, it is actually a 50 millimeter lens. The reason for that is the APS-C size sensors are actually cropped by 1.6 times. So for whatever lens you're gonna look at buying, you want to times its focal length, 50 millimeters, by 1.6, which is going to give you the focal length that you're actually going to get when you have it on a cropped size sensor. That did make sense. It sounded good to me. Rewind if it confused you. If you need a new lens, you want to mess around with something, you don't have a big budget, or you do have a big budget, but you still just want to play around with a 50 millimeter portrait lens that has a fast aperture and a lot of great features packed into something that's small and affordable, this is what I recommend that you guys buy. So that is my two minute Tuesday for this week guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that this helps you and you maybe check this out. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's, you know, that's something that you're into. Subscribe if you aren't already. And guys, I will see you next week. Shh. It used to not be this smooth. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's such a cute little lens. Like, look at it. How do you, how do you not want this? It's like a little pancake. Look at that. Look how thin this is. It's so thin and just delicious. <laughs>